Hello students. In today's lecture, I am going to introduce a very famous and important rule in order to perform mathematical calculation. It's called Bodmer's rule. Now, before starting the concept of Bodmer's, let us have an example. In a class, the teacher gave the following sums to do: eight plus seven times three. Now, Sara, one of the student of the class, solved the question in the following way. First, she add eight and seven, that makes fifteen. After that, she multiplied the result by three, so fifteen times three makes forty-five. Is this answer correct? Now, if we check the answer, the, the correct answer is twenty-nine. It means Sara has made a mistake. Now, the question arises: What mistake Sara has made? Actually, Bodmer tells us the correct order of mathematical calculation. Here. B stands for bracket O stands for orders or power D stands for division M stands for multiplication A stands for addition and S stands for subtraction so what is the correct order of mathematical operation now if you look into the order of operation the first priority is given to the brackets then the next priority is given to the order or the power after that the say, the priorities for division or multiplication and finally the least priorities for addition and subtraction now in this question there is no brackets only multiplication and addition addition sign is given so here as per bodmer's rule i am going to perform multiplication first so if i multiply 7 times 3 so i am getting the answer 21 then If I add eight and twenty-one, I am getting the result twenty-nine, and that's the correct answer. Let's have another example. Suppose if the question is one plus two times five minus four divided by two. Again, as per Bodmer's rule, the first priority must be given to division. Here, four divides by two. So if I divide four by two, so I am getting the answer two. after division the next priority is given to multiplication here 2 times 5 makes 10 and which you can see on the next step uh, it's mentioned 10 instead of 2 times 5 now after that we have to perform addition 1 plus 10 makes 11 and 11 minus 2 is 9 so 9 is the correct answer Let's have some more examples. For example, if we have a question, thirty-five divided by five plus eight times bracket nine minus three. Again, using Bodmer's rule, the first priority must be given to the bracket, the term inside bracket, and you can see here, the term inside bracket is nine minus three. Now, nine minus three is six. So, if I'm subtracting 9 and 3 i'm getting the result 6 now since the bracket has already been solved so uh, in the next step i'm not going to uh, i'm not going to add any bracket I'm, i will remove the bracket now in the next step it's 35 divided by 5 plus 8 times 6 now the next priority is given to division 35 divided by 5 is 7 so we got 7 plus 8 times 6 The next priority is given to multiplication. Eight times six is forty-eight. So my expression is reduced to seven plus forty-eight, and finally we add. So we get the answer fifty-five. Another example: solve bracket eight times three minus eighteen bracket close plus four divided by two. Again here, the first priority must be given to the uh, the terms inside bracket now inside bracket we have two operations 8 times 3 minus 18 it means in bracket we have multiplication and subtraction so the first priority must be given to multiplication if i multiply 8 times 3 so i'm getting 24 
So the bracket is reduced to 24 minus 18 plus 4 divided by 2. Now the next priority again is given to the bracket and inside the bracket uh, there is a minus sign. So 24 minus 18 is 6. Then uh, the, uh, the given question is reduced to 6 plus 4 divided by 2. Now since again here the bracket has already been solved so I'm, I'm not going to include bracket in the next step. Now here in this step there is a sign of plus and division. So division has the priority to do first. So 4 divided by 2 is 2 and finally 6 plus 2 makes 8. Now let's have one more example. 13 minus 2 times 7 plus 5 times 3 minus 7. Now in this question we have two brackets. So what we are going to do we are going to simplify the two brackets simultaneously. Simultaneously means that we are going to solve 13 minus 2 which is the first bracket and 5 times 3 which is the second bracket we are going to solve them together in the, in the first step. Now as we know that 13 minus 2 is 11 and 5 times 3 is 15. So if we solve both the brackets so I'm uh, getting 11 times 7 plus 15 minus 7. Now the next priority is given to multiplication as per Bodmer's rule. 11 times 7 is 77. So the given question is reduced further to 77 plus 15 minus 7. And lastly we subtract 77 plus 15 is 92. 92 minus 7 makes 85. That is the end of my today's lecture. Thank you. Take care.